good morning i hate saying this in vlogs but i am so tired today i need to stop going to bed at like two in the morning so we went out on a little date night last night went to the cinema saw the menu which you will have seen in a previous vlog we talked about that had a lovely time but we didn't end up getting to bed till late well it's my own fault because i came home and decided to edit vlogmas three terrible idea terrible idea so yeah didn't get to bed until two in the morning i would have been in bed earlier but i knocked an entire glass of water all over all of my stuff right before i went to bed so that was also not ideal very nearly missed the laptop uh which i am very grateful for because if i'd have just done all of that work on vlogmas 3 that late at night and then <laughs> broken my laptop i would have been so pissed uh, i did actually get a load of water on this camera so let's hope we're okay oh i may be tired today i am absolutely buzzing because I'm going to London today, which normally I would not be so buzzing for because it's not my favorite place in the world. However, it's a Saturday, so a little bit different for me. And I think I might have said this in the last vlog. I think you'll probably already know and you'll definitely have already seen on Instagram anyway. Instagram ruins the magic of Vlogmas now, I think. I am going to London to see Alana and then tomorrow we're going to Bista Village, which is obviously a favorite thing of mine to do but um alana i don't think has ever been so that'll be really nice and we're gonna see victoria whilst we're there so just a really gorgeous girly day and let me tell you this is exactly what i have been needing i'm so happy that we're doing this it's a really nice way to kick off vlogmas but in a way that is relaxed and just feels really really lovely it's a high risk that we won't actually get the most content whilst we're there because we will probably all be very busy catching up but i'm gonna do my best to bring you along with us and you will obviously see it from like three different angles so I'm, i hope you all enjoy that oh my god that's so refreshing mm. i also realized the last vlogmas that i properly did was in 2017 that that wasn't like a half-assed vlogmas because i feel like this will probably be if I'm successful, this will be the most Vlogmas episodes that you will have had in a long time. If I'm successful, we'll see. I really need to like manage expectations here. I'm not doing a very good job at that. But the last Vlogmas that I properly like really committed to was in 2017, uh, just before I put like my whole life in the bin as we knew it. And um, I went to Vista Village on a little press trip. This one isn't a press trip, but it's just kind of funny that that was the last time I really committed and that was one of the things that I did very, I think quite early on in Vlogmas. And I think also that year I saw Alana and that was Vlogmas one. So we're having a little bit of a full circle moment and I think that's kind of cool. And um, it's actually something that I talked to my therapist about recently is I am having a lot of full circle moments recently. And I can't really remember what conclusion we came to but i was like my life is increasingly looking very similar to how it looked before i like set it on fire and put it in the bin uh at the end of 2017 and i was like is that okay like is that okay that i feel like it's mirroring but in a way that is like good and feels good and is obviously still very very different a consistent relationship living with someone again no full-time like help with my like all of my work stuff friendship situations have kind of started to mirror like what we had back then as well but much healthier it's it kind of started freaking me out but i think the general conclusion was and i i think it's so interesting to get loads of different takes on this so take from it what you will um because i wasn't sure that it was a good thing i was like oh no am i is am i is the universe like giving me the same things again because i didn't do it right the first time you know that old kind of like superstition and i think her conclusion was no this is exactly where you're meant to be like you weren't on the right path before and now you've rejigged yourself onto the right path um but yeah i thought that was really interesting that my life kind of looks very very similar to how it did and i don't know if this makes any sense but let me know if you've had the same thing where you've basically like put your entire life in the bin and then it's come back 
around but in like a better way like your previous circumstances are kind of like appearing again but in like a better way that's probably gonna make no sense so anyway let's carry on doing my makeup because i've been doing my concealer for about eight minutes but my point being it's kind of weird because even this vlogmas is starting to mirror like previous vlogmases and i just find that so interesting so i hope if you like love a little bit of nostalgia that this is doing good things for you because i love nostalgia and it's definitely doing good things for me i also need to try and condense my makeup whilst i'm doing this so I need to put these aside I'm trying to pack light oh no not my speciality i'm sure you could have all guessed that a little bit of the vive lip liner in peach probably my favorite lip liner from Vive. it's just lovely and light not too dark makes my lips still look like nice and full and then of course my favorite nars liquid lip over the top this makes it look like really lovely and pinky really like doing my lips first in my makeup routine because i find i actually apply way less product to the rest of my face if i do my lips first i'm so excited for dinner tonight i think alana and i are gonna go and have some sushi which will be lovely it's a nice way to kind of end what has actually been quite a productive day for me today i still got up nice and early even though i went to bed at 2 a.m and did a workout this morning did all like my washing and stuff packed my bag breakfasted showered like a whole shebang and doing some work now we're here like it's just been a very productive saturday so my list of things that i am on the hunt for at vista village number one a really lovely really lovely like and this i will be very specific on this but I, a really lovely winter coat also a pair of flat knee high boots like the perfect like i don't care if they're faux leather like but like fairly water resistant like not a suede not a velvet because that i have a ton of all my favorite boots are like an impractical material or an impractical heel height so i'm looking for something like lovely Pra dare I say practical but yeah like something that is just a lot more appropriate for everyday wear basically it's got cold in the UK and I've realized that there is a hole in my shoe wardrobe a sh my shoe drawer I'm missing a nice like really wearable everyday boot that is higher on the leg so I obviously have my Fendi ones but they're lower on the leg and I want something that just sits a little bit higher so those are two things and then I am also this isn't necessarily a Vista Village thing, this is just an in general over the next few months thing, but I am going to be looking for another uh, like smaller but still roomy black like faux leather whatever bag uh, that can kind of either go over shoulder or crossbody, preferably it will be appropriate to change to both uh, because I'm not wearing my Balenciaga one. Uh, I feel a bit icky about it. So I'm really struggling. <laughs> it's the best bag. The Le Cougoul bag. Oh. I literally just like every time I open my wardrobe, I just feel sad. Yeah, if I see something that's like along that line at Vista, then great. If not, that's going to be an ongoing little search for me. Honestly, I don't even know why I'm doing this. We're going super casual tonight. But you know when you're just feeling a little bit like lacklustre in your soul and makeup just kind of can help to really pep you up so that is what i'm doing here today is Oh my god, you guys, how cute is this? Love a tree. So, 
my cab driver drove like an absolute demon to get me here like got me here sorry i need to switch arms hang on Ooh, giant bag and literally got me here in half the time that it said on google that it would take um there was some red light running i can't lie i thought i would check in with you before i go and meet alana for dinner because i can't feel where they're going for dinner because um, it's like so bad so i will check in with you in a little bit when we're in the room and i can actually chat with you hi we're here alana's on a call so <laughs> we just thought we'd check in hi dan how you doing <laughs> chaotic as always but i thought i'd check in we had a lovely dinner i've had a couple of palomas which are my favorite drink in the whole world and i'm wondering why we're so orange two seconds that's better here's us not looking like carrots yeah what happened to that tan yeah sadly not tan look at the those back muscles oh yeah you give him some shoulder sorry i was just trying to hide my nipple <laughs> So we went to Penyam, which was the best, the best sushi. And uh, I really need to go to sleep now because we need to be up bright and early to do a little workout and then go visit the village. Shopping and a workout, that's can, a great day. Can you um, do your Vista Village uh, moment? I want to have a Vista Village haul. There we go. Vista Village. <laughs> I don't understand. It's spelled by Kester. By Sester. By, by like Kester. Yeah. Why is it Vesta oh. and Vista? I honestly couldn't tell you. I, I've questioned it many times. I remember when I first saw Vista on a map and I was like, by Sester? Because I watched, you know, all the UK gals doing Vista Village hauls my whole life. And I'm like, I would type in B-I-S-T-A. Vista, Vista. Where is Vista? And I could never find it. And then, you know, one day obviously it clued in. But... Uh, makes no sense, but yeah. I can't wait to witness. Welcome to the UK. It makes no sense. I mean, the English language in general, we're all so useless. <laughs> <laughs> effort considering I actually forgot half of my makeup honestly what is wrong with me someone's back from the gym oh my god hi <laughs> <laughs> I'm booking our Uber <laughs> how was the gym honey it was listen this gym is like the best gym I've ever worked out in it's one of those things mm. that makes you want to go to the gym that's a bold claim what's so good about it it's really pretty <laughs> but they have everything it's like it's like stunning to look at. It's in a basement and it's dark and low ceilings. And so you'd think it would be a dungeon feel. But yeah, that like, sounds like a dungeon. It's like exquisite. Hmm. And there's a pool. I feel like I really missed out. We should have gone to the pool. Yeah, I just couldn't be bothered to wash my hair before we go shopping. I know. My we'll never wet. make it. My hair's wet. I'm going to freeze. You will. Yeah, I'm, I keep telling Alana she's going to be cold. She thinks she's going to be warm. I just get, I get sweaty when we're running around. <laughs> Do you think we're doing a time. supermarket sweep? I, I, that's the vibe I get from Vista Village. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, it is a bit like that shopping with me, but not that bad. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Well, we are gonna head off now, try and beat Victoria there, get ahead on the shopping. She's actually banned us from catching up anymore because she's scared. She's got FOMO. She's like, I hope you haven't talked about everything without we me. We haven't talked at all. <laughs> not at, not a word. at all. We sat in silence at dinner last night. <laughs> Very therapeutic. Okay, off we go. Goodbye. No. You Bye. look great. <laughs> <laughs> Alana's like, stop putting yourself down in the vlogs. She's perfect. Look at this. Going now. See you in a oh. bit. Bye. This is Alana's first mince pie. Thoughts? Raisins. A little bit, yeah. No, it's and pastry. <laughs> it's cute. Are some of them more phyllo? Mm, no. No. I would say no, but actually, I know nothing about food. That's the question for Ryan. Ryan, <laughs> tell me, should this have a crisp? A 
crunch in the bite. You know when you look at something and you think it's gonna be like crispy? This is where I'm gonna add to him in. Yeah. Like, yes, it should. He's gonna be like, no, shut up. <laughs> Go back to Canada. <laughs> no, it's really good. Yeah? It's really good. I wanna try what your favorite is. With the ice cream yeah. and the warm, yeah. Warm with mm -hmm. ice cream, like that sounds like. When you come over next, we're roast dinnering and then we're mince oh. pie and vanilla ice cream, creaming for de I dessert. Wait. Yeah. I can't wait to witness Orion. Mm, oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay. I cannot wait for all the work to my house to be done so that Alana can come and stay. Like I am just genuinely the most excited <laughs> to host her. <laughs> Introduce her to like a pub roast and. Like, what, what was the thing I said earlier? Like, oh, cups of tea at oh, very yes. specific times in the day. Yes, the 10.30. The 10.30 10 tea. Tea at 10. Yeah? Oh, I would love to pop in Jimmy Choo. Yes, thank you. Woo! In we go. This is this has escalated quickly. We've literally just walked in. Ooh. Hello. These are nice. These are on my list. This could be a go-to. This could be the one. These are also very nice, but not the right material. <laughs> Another pair of black boots. <laughs> I don't have like a good pair of black boots like these, but I want to be flat when I'm in place. This is the only one. See, like the roof. Yeah, wow. I've never found a pair of boots that are tight to my leg. Can't really. <laughs> <laughs> they're okay. What if they're really nice? You guys, number one. Woo! Number two. Woo! Hi. She's here. <laughs> guys, all here. We're all back together <laughs> in the land of shopping. <laughs> Where we're meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually like my favorite activity to I do know. with people. Like me and Alana were just walking around talking about shoes, and I was like, "This is the life I want to be living." Yes, <laughs> all the time. Amen. Oh this is gonna God. be. This is the new December tradition. Oh my God! Oh, yes, oh, I'm fully up for that. Oh, I love As that. I said, Alana, can you come over every December? And do we just make it a full vlogmas but, tradition? Like, you have to read the final Harry Potter book first <laughs> before you're allowed to join, because <laughs> <laughs> Alana's not over it. No. <laughs> I refuse. Oh my god, my heart. Honestly, how are we friends? Honestly, when, when I told my audience, they went mad. Did they? Yeah, yeah. Crazy. To be well, fair, it's very controversial. how you got to the sixth and then didn't complete it. Because the hype was too much. I don't like to follow the hype. <laughs> oh my god, look at this burger. Apparently, Victoria has been dreaming about this burger, so she is the happiest girl right now. I, honestly, when we last came, I, I just devoured this thing, and I've been thinking about it ever since. We had the best time last time we came here, it was so fun. If you haven't seen the last vlog from when we were here, I will link it. We had so much fun shopping, that was great. We've had so much fun again, I've already bought something. Uh, you will have just seen. I'm so excited to show you guys later. And now I'm staying over so I have even more time to shop. You can do a haul. I actually, I haven't told them yet, so the girls have kidnapped me. Um, I was meant to be leaving at five and Alana was not accepting the fact that I was leaving early because it closes at seven. So she's like, you can stay with me again. You will stay and we shall have dinner and we shall shop more. And I was like, yeah, you don't have to tell me twice. So. I love her. Thank you for letting me literally take over your hotel room. I feel like I should like give you half the money. Like I've literally been, a, I've literally accosted you. I invited myself the first time. So I feel privileged to have been invited sense. now. That made so much sense. I had no, like, four hours, absolutely not. No, it is a four hour round trip home for me. Just tried on this coat, but sadly, I don't think it's the one. Guys, what do we think? It's got a little hood on the back, and it's like a gorgeous, like fuzzy material, like a teddy coat, but a mix between a duster coat and a teddy coat. That's the one I just had. I really love this. It's so long, stunning. <laughs> See you next week, all right, babe. I'll, oh yes, next week! So we are back at the hotel. Alana's kidnapped me. She wanted me to stay. <laughs> you so, need to your robe. Oh yeah. 
Oh, I have one of these but in white. It's the most filthy thing ever because it's white, so yeah. it just gets stained by everything. But I put this on and I was like, I need this colour. This colour would go with my house. It feels lovely. I if it would have been out so long. Oh. It's fine, I'm going to farmhouse soon, I think, so spoiler. Um, yeah, but I, I really like this colour. It's very cute, but I can order it online. It'll be fine. Um, but yeah, Santa slash Ryan, if you're listening, if you happen to be in the room when this is playing, I would love one of these. <laughs> yeah, I would love one of these. I'm so, I'm so cosy right now. We literally got back into the room. We were going to go out for dinner and I was like, Lana, darling, how do you feel about getting some room service and watching like Harry Potter in bed? And as the lady who just said, went to Harry Potter um, world. Marry me. <laughs> marry me. <laughs> Honestly, how am I not a wife yet? I literally... <laughs> Come on, Ryan. <laughs> the best suggestions. Yeah. <laughs> but I have got some fusli with some capers and... It's basically just tomato pasta with capers. That looks Delish. really good. Delish. Truffle fries for the second time today. Alana's got the non-vegan version of what I have for lunch. So you've got a dirty burger mm. and fries. And then I always have a side of broccoli with everything. Yes. So mm. I'm gonna get cozy now. We're gonna watch some Harry Potter and I'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> Good morning, Alana. Good morning. <laughs> we have done no shopping here. <laughs> not one bit. You're not bounce. struggling. I need the bounce to push it in. <laughs> <laughs> this is a nice suitcase. Is this the away one? Yeah. Oh my god, they're so nice. I like, I actually love how beat up it gets. Yeah, it they look worldly, cool. Yes. You know? And people are always like, is that Ramoa? I'm like, <laughs> no, no, it is not. Thank you, please don't steal Half the price. <laughs> Hello everybody, I am home. I've got straight into the comfy clothes and I am about to head to the shop and get some bread, some soup, all the yummy, like very comforting things because I am feeling a little bit run down today. I've had too many late evenings and it is like catching up with my body. I'm feeling tired and um, yeah, I really don't wanna get sick because this week is a super fun week. I actually have no idea what I vlogged the past two days. It was very confusing having three vloggers together. We were great at all vlogging very different things. So you have to watch all of the vlogs to kind of get the idea of the full day. Um, so it's great for you guys in that aspect. You probably won't really double up on a lot of things. So I love that for you guys. But in terms of my content for me, I'm like, what did I film? Did I get anything? I don't even know. So if you do want a more rounded version of the day, definitely go and check out Victoria and Alana's vlogs. Um, I am going to show you uh, maybe later, maybe tomorrow, what I picked up from Vista Village because um, I was very good. I went in with my list and I stuck to my list. Super proud of me. And not only did I only get what was on the list, I got a very good deal as well. So I'm so happy. And most importantly, I just had the best time. I love hanging out with Alana and Victoria. It's just the best way I could possibly spend my time. That is when I'm at my happiest. So it was so nice to especially spend a couple of days solidly with Alana because it's just it just happens so rarely, you know? Like we don't live in the same country and I'm definitely gonna have to finally go over to Canada at some point next year because I really wanna like pay that back because she really does make the effort to come over and see us and spend time with us so much. And I really appreciate that and I love her for that. So um, I definitely wanna pay that back. Then it was just so nice to spend two days solidly with her had the best time and hopefully she will come back next vlogmas again and hopefully next year i can host her which i have all my fingers and toes crossed for because that would just be the best the best way to start a vlogmas i can't wait um but yeah i am gonna jog on now and go to the shop and get myself some food because there is literally nothing so i'll check in with you guys in a little bit mm, yes treated myself to a little m s soup and i also picked up this focaccia it is it is the best this is the ultimate feeling slightly run down lunch
Good morning, everybody. It's been a few days since I last saw you. Let me just set you up there. So I ducked out this vlog a little bit because I was feeling a little bit run down. So I decided to take the day and just sit down, do my editing, but like rest my body. So editing is the best thing to do when you're just trying to rest because you actually can't move for like hours at a time because you're just in that mode, you know, in the zone. So that was really good, very productive. I got really ahead because of that, which was great. Very happy with that. And I had my soup, took my echinacea drops, which I honestly, I have not had a full on cold. I used to get the worst colds, the worst colds. My immune system was terrible. And one of my best friends recommended it to me and she would literally like hassle me every time I was like feeling run down to take it. And uh, obviously, by the way, I'm not a doctor, so I consult your doctor before taking these things. But yeah, it's just like a natural remedy thing. So I didn't really feel like it would ever work, but I was genuinely, I was like, I am going to get sick. Like this is it. I haven't been ill for such a long time. Like, I haven't had a cold in such a long time, but this is gonna be it. Absolutely fine. So a little bit of rest, some echinacea drops and some soup and bread does like the world of good. Also started binge watching Wednesday in the evening whilst I was editing and I love it. Like I was fully, like Victoria was like, the first thing I want you to do when you go home is watch Wednesday because this, this chick is you. Most people would take that as a not compliment, but I feel like she gets me. She really gets me. And I loved it, of course, but I was always going to love it. I love Tim Burton stuff like Sleepy Hollow has long been one of my favorite films in the whole world also has christina rich in it interesting he has his favorites doesn't he so that was the rest of my day and then yesterday i had a campaign to shoot and was obviously getting the video live doing more editing so jumping back in now because i wanted to show you what i got at vista village side note i had the best time at vista village i love not even for the shopping just in terms of the company i love spending time with Alana and Victoria. When I hit 30, I had a little bit of a kind of like friendship crisis where I just really started to realize that a lot of the people around me were not, not friends, like we're all friends, but I just didn't feel like I had people around me. I have like a few best friends in Brighton, like a couple, um, but I didn't feel like everyone around me really got me. And I had always kind of like been told and under the assumption that your best friends need to be the ones that are right around you or your closest friend. I hate the term best friend. Like I use it, it's so overused, it's very unnecessary. But your closest friends have to be the ones that are right around you to support you. Um, and they all have to be one group. And that is just the way it should work. It's kind of been beaten into me throughout my life. And I always used to feel really weird when I was younger because I didn't have like a group a big group of friends. But actually what is the most important thing I have learned over the past couple of years is not the size and not the location, but the just having people that get you and are completely accepting of you for you. That is the most important thing. And I get like, if you are younger or you are single, like having people immediately around you is more important. And when I was single, I used to think that I used to be like, oh, but I need a friendship group immediately around me because who else is gonna go out with me on like nights out and blah, blah, blah. How will I meet people if I don't go out? Do you know what? I never met anyone on a night out. Thank God for Tinder. I don't know if this makes sense, but it was a real big misconception. And actually for a long time, I had some really wrong people for me around me because they were the goy out friends, but that wasn't necessarily like good for me. Um, as a in my soul as a person it wasn't necessarily like the right fit of friendships for me and I think your friendships and like there's that saying of like the five people you spend your most most of your time with are like going to make up who you are as a person and are going to like, like mold your life and I so agree with that but anyway I was so wrong about the fact that your friends your closest friends have to be the people immediately around you I have started leaning more into the people that make effort with me and the people that I feel my best with. Honestly, I don't care. They could live a million miles away, which Alana pretty much does, but I have never felt happier in myself and more comfortable. And another thing is that it's always been kind of insinuated that your work friends can't be real friends. And I completely disagree. That is something I've learned as well. Actually, some of the situations I've been in with my work friends are situations that like 
it's kind of a bit like siblings where you know you've been through something together like you have experiences that only each of you understand like only my sibling will understand what it's like to be parented by my parents so we have like a connection and an experience that no one else will ever understand because they didn't live it and it's kind of like that with your like colleagues whether it's like an office job because I have colleagues that only they will have understood that experience because only they lived it with me and the same for my friends now that I've met through my current work it's a really lovely very comfortable friendship and yeah it just feels nice and the reason I'm saying this is because I could have really have done with someone telling me this like a few years back even just a year or so back being like this is okay I mean my therapist did but sometimes you don't listen to them because you're like you're being paid to look after me you're just gonna tell me what I want to hear even though she doesn't sometimes she tells me what I don't want to hear but anyway I really would have loved to have heard this like growing up and I don't mean like when I was a kid I mean like in my 20s I really would have loved for someone to be like lean into like those odd friendships it doesn't matter that you don't have a big group because actually for my birthday I took all of my individual people that I love and I put them in a room together and made them sing and I had the best time there is nothing stopping you from bringing everyone together and if there are some people that don't want to be brought together I think that's very telling uh, because actually everyone in that group fitted together so well and was so happy to make new friends and I just think that that says a lot about the people that you have around you if you are able to do that as well so don't worry about having one friend here one friend there don't worry if one's like a million miles away and you have to just like facetime her a lot don't worry if you have to travel like four hours to see one person because ultimately i love doing that anyway i've just decided i love i will travel <laughs> to see my friends um even if it's four hours on a train to vista village thank you to alana for making it so i didn't have to do the full journey in one go also my social anxiety is at a minimum uh, not just with Victoria and Alana, but a lot of like the friendships I have now, I don't come away feeling worried about having maybe said the wrong thing or did they like what I had to say about this. I literally, like my social anxiety does not exist. And I think that's so interesting. So yeah, just wanted to nudge on that in case anyone else struggles with friendships. It's definitely something that when the podcast comes back, I'm going to talk about more. I really like this time last year, I was like, not okay in terms of like friendships. I was having a bit of a crisis, so it will pass, it will get better. But I'm going to show you what I picked up at Bista Village. And I also wanted to show you, oh, look at this throw. I got this in M&S when I was picking up my soup. I am so excited to get this on my bed. 25 pounds, which is a bit spenny for a blanket. And I will be hiding this from the dog because she ruins all of my blankets that white fur one that's in my living room ruined that one's hers now this one will be being hidden when not in use but oh that is so nice it goes perfectly in my bedroom it's like a dusky pinky tone okay are we ready gonna have to make this a little bit snappier i feel like i have no upper lip today what is happening okay I will show you, oh, the box is coming open. So as I said before we left for Vista Village, I had a little list, a very small list of things to look out for whilst I was there. And a pair of boots was one of them. I did say flat leather boots, but we're skipping on one of the details because actually I don't really mind whether they're flat or not. But the non-negotiable was that I could go out in the rain and they wouldn't be like eternally ruined. And these, I think retail normally for like 800 pounds and they were 200 pounds. I'm so, so happy with them. And I think they're just gonna be perfect with a pair of like skinny trousers or you could wear them, you know, in the springtime or autumn, but with like a skirt or something like that. But yeah, I am so happy with them. They're stunning. They're a pointed toe. Um, You will have seen, I think in the vlog footage I was in Jimmy Choo and I tried on a really gorgeous pair but they had a round toe and me and Alana were both like oh it's the toe no and then I went into Stuart Wiseman and I found these and they are stunning and um, they did have a flat pair of like they're a mixture of leather on the front and then like a ribbed 
knit material, not a knit, um, like a stretchy fabric, and they did look really cool, but they didn't have them in my size. So if I get on with these, then maybe I'll be making another purchase. But um, yeah, we'll see. The heel height is perfect as well for every day. That's just a very standard little heel height. I won't have a problem with that. That is what I picked up. I also tried on quite a few coats in Max Mara. There was a camel one I tried on and it was too short, but the rest of them were very, very long. Um, and then there was the black one, which I loved, but it was kind of giving me dressing gown vibes. I just wasn't sure. And my thing when I go to Vista Village is I, like, I have to be sure. I have to be like, I'm not leaving without these. And that's kind of how I felt about these. I was like, wow, these are gorgeous and so timeless. And I really did like a style audit over the course of this year where I looked back at lots of old photos and like, there were so many, I didn't even do this with this purpose, I was just looking back at old photos and there were so many outfits that I was like, oh I love that photo, I love that outfit, I love this and it was all when I looked my most natural, like when I had like my brunette hair and when I was wearing outfits that were really, really timeless and um, I would look at and be like, oh I love that, I would like repost that photo now and it basically was the catalyst for me having like a zhuzh with my wardrobe and taking things back to being a little bit more timeless i obviously love like trendy things and i love like i'm not the kind of girl that does this kind of like minimalist everything oversized constantly vibe i can't it doesn't look right on me i like timeless but with a little bit of like a toughness to it and sometimes that's a little bit sexy and that's my kind of vibe that if i had to pick like three words those are the words that i want to roll with and actually i feel like these boots fit all three of those words so yeah i'm gonna try those on with you now and show you what they look like i'm so excited <laughs> one of the things that i'm so happy about with these boots is that they weren't too high on the knee because when boots go to the knee or most people they kind of go over my knee so i had to go for something that is actually a little bit shorter on the leg just ever so slightly so that it does actually come to my knee what do we think i really hope they look okay i can't actually see in my mirror yeah i love them i think they're so timeless i think even just with my skinny trousers and a really cool like super oversized shirt it's just perfect but i'm so happy with them i cannot believe the saving it was like 50% off and then an extra like 20 or something. I can't remember what it was, but incredible. I'm so, so happy with them. Um, would definitely recommend Stuart Wiseman at Vista Village just because the shoes are gorgeous and really timeless. And the saving, it was like, these are like currently on sale. It's great, I love that. Oh, and also before anyone says, oh, but they're a little bit big on the leg, just know that I actually have quite a slim like calf and ankle situation. There isn't a boot alive, alive? There isn't a boot in existence that will tightly fit my ankle. So um, yeah, don't, no one say it, don't say it. That is going to be, oh, that's very bright. That is going to be it for this vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed coming along to Vista Village with me and just spending the weekend with me. I had so much fun. Thank you so much for joining us. And I will see you guys again very, very soon in a couple of days with a new vlog. I'm really excited for this one. The fun is continuing. Love you, bye.